Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the superheroes category in the build of the week series. So for those of you who don't know, I do the build of the week which is a series whereby essentially I take a look at different categories each week, discuss their leaders, their pros, their cons, where they can improve and give you guys some insight into team building for them. Now, Superheroes has two major leads. We're talking about Gohan, so Ultimate Physical Gohan, and then, of course, we have the alternative lead of Piccolo. Now, the big difference is that Gohan covers mainly hybrid sands with his 200% coverage skill, whereas Piccolo covers a lot more Vegeta's, Piccolo's, uh, Bond of Master and Disciple style characters. So, definitely, you know, like, a slight difference in their 200% construction. You can also build sub superhero teams quite easily out of fusion, movie heroes, uh, and even time travelers. Uh, all have enough units under the superhero subsect uh, to build a team. So if there's ever a superheroes category challenge and you don't have one of the leads, but you maybe have a solid future team or you have a solid movie heroes team, then it'll be pretty good to take a look and you might be able to get something done. So yeah, uh, overall, obviously building the team is pretty interesting. There are a couple units that are specific to superheroes, or I want to say really make superheroes tick. If we look at the team like this, that's kind of a really good highlight point. And you know, this team tends to function quite well. Uh, Pan is a really, really good floating support for superheroes. You have really solid supports like MVP17, uh, who obviously got his easy A and is at a pretty decent, respectable level. You also have Int Mai, Strength Mai, um, and all of those units which are pretty solid when it comes to being floating supports or just good facilitators of the team. You have the more future subsect, as I'm showing you here, where you can mix and match some Vegitos, Mai's, Trunks's, obviously very, very close to a Time Traveler's team. Or you can go for kind of like something a little bit more, you know, of a cross, I want to say. So this is something that's a little bit more maybe Power Beyond Super Saiyan type of vibe, uh, a little bit more mixed. You have some strong units, some strong alternating units uh, but you're building off of the fact that you're letting Piccolo sit in the first slot on each rotation and then you know letting your units kind of do their thing from there so it is definitely a team that although a small category has some really powerful units and I think that kind of leans towards it being a good category and also I think the units utilities and tools means that there's not as much of not as much of a problem trying to run so many strong units together. You know, attack Piccolo, when he gets hit, he's going to give two key to the rest of the rotations, and that's going to help. That makes things a bit more easier to, to bring together and to bring all of these strong LR units together. So overall, uh, I think it's just a category that's got a good foundational sense. Obviously, you know, superheroes make sense. It's quite strong. How often will it get buffed? Yeah. Probably pretty regularly. There's some big player name cards that are here, like Vegito, Trunks t tends to be here from the DBS, um, you know, Piccolo from the Superheroes movie, uh, Gohan as well. But we have a couple, you know, Vegeta's, the Universe uh, Survival Saga seems to be quite a strong you know, Superheroes representation. So when TOP or Reps of Universe 7 gets an update, then your superheroes team should naturally get an update as well. We also have some pretty strong leads, I want to say, with you know, Gohan and Piccolo. So yeah, I would say overall, there's a pretty strong chance that this team yeah, does well, I think. Um, the category should grow and continue to develop and be a solid option, I think, for the most part. I don't see it having any like long-term droughts in terms of upgrades or buffs i think it just will exist in a pretty niche pretty good space and i think it'll be a pretty good time um obviously outside of that you know i 
think right now this is probably my favorite team variant of superheroes. Uh, you can interchange out Android 17 depending on how you feel. But this feels like a solid one to me. You can also kind of drop Int Trunks and Vegeta or Beast Gohan depending on what kind of damage dealers you want to bring. Uh, I think Strength Mai is a solid choice as well due to the you know, really strong capability she brings uh, to the table. In terms of units that I don't have, um, you know, we obviously are missing a couple units, so that's something to keep in mind. I think major ones being Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, the summonable Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, they're probably the biggest standouts that I don't have, and they are very, very good options. In terms of links, because of the variability of the units, you do struggle a bit with links, like Piccolo doesn't link well with all the hybrid and pure sands, but you do tend to have a little bit of a godly power you know, combo prepared for battles, fairly common. And generally you work on a two rotation system with superheroes, so you'll have more like a rotation that's Piccolo and someone else, and then you have two really good linking units on the other rotation with some strong floating supports that don't need the links. That's it for me. Bye.